Hi folks, uh, welcome back. Okay, well, just a wee update on the um, Glasgow Gangland um, Wars uh, trial that's taking place at the High Court. Uh, the link for the story will be in the description. It's by Grant McCabe. Stephen Daniels tells Lions v Daniels gangster trial of a 100 mile an hour car chase before he was rammed off the road. The 39 year old was left with horrific facial scars but told jurors he has no memory of any attack after his car hit a pole on an M8 ramp. A member of an alleged crime family has said he had no memory of an attack that left him with serious facial wounds. Stephen Daniel was set upon after a 100 mile an hour car chase through the streets in the north of Glasgow in May of 2017. Daniel's uh, Skoda Octavia was rammed at the on-ramp of the M8 motorway in the city's Port Dundas before it is claimed he was attacked with weapons. But the 39 year old told jurors his next memory was waking up in the hospital where he spent weeks recovering and he has no memory of the attack. And apparently that's the man there um, arriving at court. The ex-taxi firm director was given evidence at the trial of six men allegedly part of the Lions criminal gang said to have targeted the Daniels gang. Uh, the Daniels clan. Stephen Daniel yesterday denied his family were involved in crime and that it was not true there was a feud with the Lions. Brian Ferguson, 37, Andrew Gallagher, Robert Pickett, Andrew Sinclair, John Hardy and Brian Bain denied charges at the High Court in Glasgow. The allegations include a string of attempted murders over a 15 month period. Right, moving on. It is alleged they targeted Ryan Fitzsimmons, Thomas Bilsland, Gary Petty, Robert Daniel and Stephen Daniel. Okay, we read, we did this, uh, read this yesterday. Uh, the charges span between June 2016 and September 2017. In various locations, including Glasgow, um, North Lanarkshire, Renfrewshire and Manchester. Daniel, who used the name Peoples in Court, was attacked on May 18. 2017. He has spent the previous evening at a Rangers and Aberdeen match at Ibrox. The trial heard he joined a man called Stephen Malcolm who owned the Glasgow private, private hire taxi firm and had hospitality at the stadium, a hospitality box at the stadium. Um, Daniel dropped people off after the match before heading home himself. He was in the city's Milton uh, that's an area of Glasgow, when he then spotted a Volkswagen Golf facing him. Daniel said the vehicle then deliberately hit the side of his Skoda. An Audi S3 soon joined the chase as Daniel put the foot down to get away as fast as he could. The pursuit then continued into the nearby postal area. Prosecutor Paul Kearney asked Daniels what speed he was going at. He replied at one stage he was doing about 100 mile an hour. The Audi ended up being the only car going after Daniel as he raced towards the city's M8. Mr Kearney, Mr Kearney, uh, as that was happening, what was your intention, Daniel, to drive down the wrong side of the motorway to get away? But he recalled his car being smashed into. Daniel went on, it was presumably the Audi. Then I just passed out. I remember skidding towards a pole at the foot of the road. And that's the on-ramp. Uh, at Port Dundas, one of the M8, just before the Springburn cut-off. The Springburn cut-off would be on the left as you go along. So that is the Port Dundas on-ramp. So that must have been where he's came off and hit something there. And that's forensic uh, forensics there at the scene. The court was shown photos of Daniel's badly damaged car. Mr Kearney said, there appeared to be blood that had pulled below the car. The, prosecu the prosecutor asked him, you don't recall the assault upon you? Daniels, no. The court heard he was then under sedation in hospital for weeks. This involved at, at least two operations for extensive injuries. Mr Kearney, you were seriously injured to the head and face. You bear the scars of that today. Daniels, yes. Jurors were told he may need further surgery and is scarred for life.
Daniels went on to state it had, it had quite a bit of an effect on him. The court also heard Daniels' car was found to have had a tracking device on it, but he insisted he had no enemies before being attacked. Mr Kearney, the Daniel family are alleged to be in a serious organised crime group. Daniels, allegedly. He also denied there was any dispute with the Lyons family. The court heard Daniel knew Kevin Gerbo, Kevin Gerbo Carroll, who was murdered in Glasgow's Rob Royson in 2010. That's the guy that was shot in the Asda um, over at Springburn. Carroll had been described as an enforcer for the Daniel family. Mr Kearney said he was allegedly responsible for many crimes, Daniel possibly. Mr Kearney said a Ross Monaghan was later acquitted of killing, of the killing before a man called William Patterson was convicted at a separate trial. The prosecutor asked Daniel, do you have ill feelings towards them? He replied, no. The trial continues under Lord Mulholland. Mulholland. Okay folks, that's about it. Um, that's it. Six minutes, 13. You don't really want to go above six and a half minutes. So uh, I think there's another story relating to this, which I'll take a quick look at. And if it's anything decent, I'll, uh, I'll bring it to you. So for now, peace out.